Okay, firing in three, two, one. Practically what we are doing, we are forming two plasma rings and then we are merging them together. During this merge, what is happening is that magnetic energy during this reconnection is transformed into thermal energy. And efficiency of this conversion is extremely high, so measured on mass up to 90%. That means that we are capable of using magnetic energy from our power supplies to heat our plasma like directly. With all other methods, efficiency is much, much, much less. It is not easy to use this method, of course, and to extend it to reactor, although we have some ideas how to do this. But uh, for sure, for our experimental devices, it's quite good. No, that is why it was used in MAST and SAT for many, many years as a main method of formation. On the start, we formed the plasma by having some coils with a, a null in between them and we hoped that plasma would break down in this null and then we'd push it into the centre and then one day so, some of these coils didn't fire and the other two, the other pair did. Mikhail observed magnetic pickup coils in the centre column sort of lit up. Something had gone into the centre column and I remember he came back the next morning he'd had all sheets of paper all laid over the, with all the, the, the arrows and the signals he'd got and said look there was a plasma and it went into the centre. So somehow, by, by accident, we'd actually discovered a way of forming this plasma and moving it into the centre. That was merging compression and then we optimised it on start and, and got some very good results from that and it was also used on mast. One of the interesting things about the mast tokamak is it was quite a hot plasma and the conditions are really rather similar to what's in the solar corona in terms of that you've got a very strong magnetic field, you've got a very hot plasma. I did some work um, actually looking at merging compression. The magnetic field in each ring is, is obviously sort of separate and so to combine them into one you've also got to combine the magnetic fields and so to do that you have to break and rejoin the magnetic field lines and we call that process magnetic reconnection. So we were looking at the magnetic reconnection as the, these two rings come together and then the consequences of that, in particular how that heated the plasma. In its simplest form you have oppositely directed magnetic field lines and they come together and you can imagine as the two field lines come together you sort of cut them but instantaneously rejoin them so they're now joined together in a different way and when you do that you get energy out of the magnetic field and one way you get energy out of the field is because when you've rejoined the magnetic field lines they're quite strongly curved and so if you think of a rubber band which is stretched and you've now got a rubber band which is stretched but you let go it will kind of twang back so it, it's that release of the tension in the magnetic field which gives you energy and then that energy goes into basically heating the heating the plasma in mast the temperature was going up from about 100 electron volts to of a thousand so sort of a factor of 10 increase if you like in, in the energy so very substantial um, heating taking you, if you like, from a very sort of rather cool plasma to something which was at sort of, you know, sort of fusion relevant temperatures. This test that we completed just now, we put 50% more current in our coil that was achieved on MUST. And our first physics milestone is to achieve MUST performance. Actually, our hardware is ready to, to, to satisfy these conditions and even more. ST40 is a device which in these experiments will be between start and must. So there is a good probability that we'll do it. And then, of course, we will increase our power, increase currents, and then we should have probably increased by factor of 10 compared to start and must. What means factor of 10? Factor of 10 means that we will come to burning conditions in, in, in this device. It doesn't mean that we will achieve fusion, no, but we will achieve uh, temperatures and densities to sustain a fusion reactor, a reaction if we will put tritium inside the vessel.